Hey everybody, we're gonna do the full blueprint only squash logic of how to do the Mario style jump on a bad guy, squish him down, and pop him out of existence. So, let's get to it. I've got the enemy character here, my doofus, with a begin play and just a behavior tree which is running my simple AI which looks for a random location and moves there every few seconds. So first thing we need to do, ignore this squash point. This is from C++. All you need to do to do that is just add a scene component and call it squash point. And we'll say squash point two. A scene component is just a point in space with a location and move it 70 up on the Z axis. So it's sitting up at the top of the head like that. We now want to get our capsule component and do capsule component on hit. Once you've got your on component hit for your capsule component, take your hit and we wanna break that result. What we want is the impact point. Create a branch. And we're gonna check if the impact point, look for equal. Get your squash point. Get component location or world location rather and send that here. And our error tolerance, I found 50 to be what we want. Because we can't hit the squash point exactly in space, we need to have an error tolerance of around that point. So when we jump on the head, we're within 50. I don't know if that's 50 unreal units or what that measurement is, but from some trial and error, I found 50 to be a good amount of space around the squash point so that it doesn't trigger when we bump into the bad guy and it only triggers when we jump on top. Once you have that logic set up and that branch, what we now need to do is disable the capsule components collision. Look for co collision enabled, set collision enabled. Off the true, we want to set it to no collision so that we can't hit it again. Off of the set collision enabled, we now want to get the AI controller and stop it from moving. Search for self also, plug that into controlled actor. Off the return and value, stop movement. Next off the AI controller, we want to get the brain component so that we can stop logic. And that will stop our behavior tree that we were running so that our character, our enemy bad guy does not move around. Next up, what we want to do is squish our sprite down. Grab our sprite. We want to set relative scale 3D. And the scale we want is just the Z axis uh, squished down by half. So we want to get the scale, get relative scale 3D. We want to split that. We're gonna split that as well. X stays the same, Y stays the same, Z. We're dividing by two, and then pass that in there. After that, we want to move it down, so we want to set local offset. Because as we squish it, we're squishing towards the center of the, of the sprite, so he'll be floating uh, above the floor a little bit. So in order to do that, we just want to move it down 55 and check teleport. Once all that is done, we want to have a slight delay before our bad guy disappears out of existence. In order to do that, um, delay nodes uh, are... You generally want to avoid delay nodes. So what we're going to do instead is set a timer by event. And we're going to wait one second in the event. Make a new custom event. We'll call this on squished. And this will then destroy actor. Now, if you also want to do a little emitter here, what we can do is at, before we do destroy actor, we can spawn system at location. And I just happen to have a pop system. And we're going to get actor location. Pass that there. And so that should do a little pop when our bad guy disappears. And so once you've set all of that logic and you jump on your bad guys, they should squish and pop out of existence. One 
Last one to go. Boop. And there he goes. One thing that you could add to make this a little bit more interesting is you grab the other actor, cast to our char player character off the true. As the player character, look for launch character. Move that a little bit. And we're going to launch upwards by about 400. So that will then give us a little... A little pop off of the bad guy when we jump on him. So that's how you do the squash logic of Super Mario using only blueprints. Later.